In this video, I will show you how to make a double island outdoor kitchen. So outdoor kitchens are typically three feet deep and about 8.8 .8 feet long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do three feet deep, so three feet. And go about, oops, that's not straight. 8.8 .8 feet wide. back, meet it here, and then we're going to push pull this up. And it's typically 36 inches tall, so three feet. So now we have our base for our outdoor kitchen. And then we're just going to click on the surface, do offset and offset by two inches. And then push pull that down two inches. And typically we're moving towards well, typically we would do granite countertop, but right now we are moving towards concrete. But for this example, I'll show you how to do a granite countertop one. So we're gonna go to import, we're gonna go to components, we're gonna go to architecture, we're gonna go to exterior, and we're gonna go to granite. I think I have about two examples in here. So I'll do this one. It's really pretty, like marbly granite color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that on to represent the outdoor kitchen part. And again, since it is a structure that is um, perpendicular to the surface level ground, we are going to be using the retaining wall swatches. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the Yukara. I think that'll be really nice with this white granite countertop. So now I have that filled in and then I'm going to import the grill component. So I'm gonna to go to Outdoor Kitchen. Um, these are already examples of Outdoor Kitchens that I made. So I'm gonna to go to Drop and Grill, Grill Component. I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to forward a little bit until this bit is flush with that surface. Perfect. And then I'm just going to click the move button or um, on the keyboard, click the up arrow key so it's locked on the up and down axis. And then I'm going to pull that down just a little bit. And there you have it. You have your grill component in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and center that as best as I can. And then to dress it up a little bit, add some accessories. So I'll go to Outdoor Kitchen. Let's just see, do we have standalone grills or sinks? We could add in a couple drawers, but typically we don't do that. So I'll just go to decorations, and see what we have. I'll go ahead and add this uh, basket of sauce for barbecuing purposes. Put it right next to the grill, dress it up a little. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and make it a group. And I'm going to copy it onto the other side. You want to have, since we're going to do this double island kitchen, typically this would just be it for just the outdoor kitchen part. And then usually you would have like maybe an overhang over on this side for people to sit on, or it would be raised up a little. So I'm going to show you a couple of um, ideas. So you want about five feet in between. That way it's um, very spacious and functional to walk through and pass on to the other side. So I'm just gonna change this up a little bit. Doesn't need to be this thick for the island part. I'm gonna go ahead and push this in just about 1.5 feet. So it's half the width. And then we want the overhang for the counter to be 14 inches. So I push that there. I brought it back to the drawing board over here just to make sure that it is precisely 14 inches. And then you have your bar setup area right across. And then you would add in your bar chairs. So we would go to components, go to outdoor living space, bar stools, and there's a bunch of different items to choose from. We could just do a set or we could do singular. I'm going to go ahead and do set of these chairs just that way they're already there and ready. 
There you go. And then you can save this as a group. So since this is already grouped, you can click uh, hold down select. Whenever you hold down select, you'll see that plus and minus sign right next to the cursor. That just means you can add or subtract things. So I'm holding this down and I'm like, mm, I don't know if I want to make this a full group. So I'm going to, while still holding down shift, I'm going to click the chairs again. And now they're not even going to be a part of this outdoor kitchen group. It's just a separate group. Or I could click this and then click shift and then just make it a group two this way. That way it's all just one entity. But the more you know about the shift key, it's a plus and minus. You can add and subtract multiple things uh, to make groups. So that is one type of kitchen uh, example. And another type of example is doing kitchen, so we're going to have about two feet, eight point, oops, 8.8 .8 feet this way, three feet again, up, feet it up here, bring it up about three feet, and see what I did there too when the push-pull like kind of went like that, I didn't continue to say three feet because then it's not actually going to be three feet because it's up this height already. So I just always bring it back down again and then I start up over just to make sure it's accurate as possible. Go ahead and color this now. And then I'm going to push this out about another eight inches because this part. going to be the bar above. That is usually, so we have eight, so plus four, so that's one foot. And then I'm gonna bring it down six inches, so it's a foot and a half. I'm gonna bring this up about another eight inches. So we have that bar hang, add that in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and color our countertops. That way we know that's represented of the countertops. Go ahead and do an offset of two inches. Same thing up here. We're going to go ahead and push pull this down two inches. Same there. But then this part is going to be overhanging. Since it's already overhanging two inches, we're going to bring it out 12 inches. So we still have that 14 inch overhang. I'm going to go ahead and set out of that. Okay, so it didn't save the color. Oh, well, that's okay. We're going to go ahead and bring the colors all the way around. Erase our lines. And then we have, I just copied and pasted that. And I'm just going to bring them over here this way. And then I'm just going to scale them up a little bit because a taller bar area. And then I can go ahead and add the grill component in. Oops still in that group. So you want to copy it, control C, exit out of that group, and then you'll paste it onto this new outdoor kitchen. So I'm going to put it out like that, make sure that part is there, make sure it's centered relatively. Then I'm going to click the M button on the keyboard, click the up arrow key so it's locked on the up and down surface, and then I'm just going to drag it down till about there, until that line is flush with the counter. And then you have your outdoor kitchen bar set up like that. Another way to do an outdoor kitchen is an L shape. So typically it's 8.8 .8 feet on both sides, three feet, go back up, 8.8 .8 feet, that, do another three feet, go down 8.8 .8 feet, and then three feet this way. So here's another one. I'm going to raise this up 36 inches. We'll add our swatches all the way around. And you know, another thing too is we can make outdoor kitchens too with masonry. You know, anything that is perpendicular to the surface level 
um, or whatnot, it will always be with masonry or retaining wall swatches. So I'll go ahead and make this one with some stone all the way around. And I will also change the granite for fun. So I'm gonna go to granite, I'll take this granite color. There we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and offset this by two inches. And I'm gonna go ahead and push pull that down two inches. It's that line. Sometimes it erases the color. I don't know why it does that sometimes, but. Make sure it's color all sides. So typically, do I still have that copy and paste it? Okay, cool. So typically we would put the grill on this part. Make sure this part meets up there. And then arrow key up to lock it down. So we have this nice little section to prepare anything grilling wise. We could also put drawers in here if needed. And then we would go ahead and add our bar stools onto the other half. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the bar stools. Um, I'll go ahead and do these. Copy and paste it. And then I'm gonna make sure this is overhanging 14 inches since it's already off two. Just gonna push pull it 12 inches. And then we have our L-shaped kitchen. So that is how you make that um, outdoor kitchens. There are some already in the components library under outdoor kitchen. Um, you have double island kitchen, the L-shaped with the raised high top. So kind of like what we did here, except it's an L-shaped size. And then we have, a double island kitchen where they're the same height, a double island kitchen where you do have a high top on the other side. And then we just have a regular plain old outdoor kitchen with an overhang on the other side. So that one's pretty simple. It's just three feet deep by 8.8 .8 feet, three feet deep again, go this way. I can't raise this up. There we go. Raise it up three feet. And then we would have the grill on one side. I'm just going to place this here. Grill is right here. And then for the overhang, two inches. Push pull this down, two inches. Then we would just have our, it would just be a straight on kitchen. So you would have grilling and preparing on one side and then you would still eat on the other side. So it's just a very simple, straightforward outdoor kitchen. These ones are much more fun and elaborate and adds interest to the landscape design in any outdoor living space. So that is how you make outdoor kitchens.